Welcome back to Blueprint to Reality, the channel where we turn civil engineering concepts into everyday language. Today, we're comparing two critical structural systems used to resist lateral forces like wind and earthquakes, braced frames and moment-resisting frames. Let's dive into how these systems work and when you should use each one. What is a brace frame? First up, the braced frame system. In this system, Diagonal braces are added between columns and beams to form triangular structures that provide lateral stability. These braces create a stiff structure, allowing the building to resist lateral forces like wind and seismic activity. There are different types of braced frames, such as X-bracing and K-bracing, each designed for different needs, but they all work by converting lateral forces into tension and compression within the braces. What is a moment-resisting frame? Now, let's talk about the moment-resisting frame system. Unlike braced frames, moment-resisting frames don't use diagonal braces. Instead, the joints between the columns and beams are specially designed to resist rotation, meaning they carry bending moments as well as vertical loads. This system provides flexibility in design and allows for more open spaces since you don't need diagonal braces to block off walls or windows. However, it relies heavily on the strength of the beam column connections to resist lateral forces. So, what makes braced frames a good choice? The biggest advantage is their high stiffness. Braced frames are excellent at resisting lateral forces, making them a common choice in areas prone to earthquakes and high winds. They're also typically more cost-effective because braces are easier and faster to install than reinforced beam column joints. However, one downside is that braced frames can restrict architectural design. The diagonal braces often limit where windows, doors, or open spaces can be placed. Now, let's look at the strengths and weaknesses of moment-resisting frames. These frames offer more design flexibility because there are no diagonal braces. This is ideal for buildings that require large, open spaces or where aesthetics are a priority. Moment-resisting frames also allow for more natural light because you can have larger windows or open facades. However, the construction of these systems is more complex and expensive. The joints between the beams and columns need to be carefully designed and reinforced to handle both vertical and lateral loads. Braced versus moment-resisting frames. When to choose. So, how do you decide which system to use? Uh, if you're working on a building where lateral stability is the top concern, like in earthquake-prone regions, a braced frame is often the better choice due to its stiffness and cost-effectiveness. But if your project requires flexible design and large open spaces, like in modern office buildings or high-rises, a moment-resisting frame may be worth the extra investment. In the end, both systems play a crucial role in keeping buildings safe and stable. Your choice depends on the balance between design flexibility and lateral strength. Thanks for watching Blueprint TO Reality. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more engineering insights and solutions.